Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about a little secret I've been working on. I actually had my sense cap that I made a video on set up in my house. Yes, the same house that I've had my bobcat and I spoofed the location and this might be frowned upon, but I wanted to experiment. I spoofed the location to a different spot not too far but not too close to see what the results would be because in my previous video that i did make about changing your helium transmit scale by moving your location on the app people asked me the question you know what what happens if you place them in the same house couldn't people just uh like fake it and and just keep a whole bunch of miners in the same house so i'm going to show you guys the results on what happened before we do get started make sure that you guys like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and also i just wanted to say because i usually say this in the end of the videos and if you guys haven't seen my community posts i wanted to make a video talking about your guys's helium setup so if you would like to be in that video i'm going to feature a whole bunch of users right now i only have one submission i'm trying to get like five or ten i can make multiple videos, I can make this a series to show off people's setups to give you guys an idea of what you can do to improve your setup to better increase the Helium network. So what you need to enter, I will put my email in the description below. You can email me there, send me the pictures of your antenna, pictures of your hotspot if possible. Then you can also send me how many witnesses you have, how many HNT you get, and what antenna you have i believe i already said that but also the length of your cable because i want to crack that theory to see if the length of the cable is actually causing a significant uh problem bonus points you guys don't have to do this but if you would like to provide the name of your hotspot you don't have to again i can totally understand for privacy reasons but if you want to include the name of your hotspot or even what city you live in just so we can get an idea like are you in a really crowded area or are you in a suburban area that would be great so with that out of the way let's actually get into the video finally this is a great website i love it hotspotty.net you guys know i've been talking about this website for a while they're actually working actively in the discord server they're constantly improving this website but enough about them i wanted to talk about this this is my new hotspot my sense cap virtual cobalt nut hatch which is weird so Sharp Crimson and Rangatang is my OG hotspot. That's the one that I have all the massive antenna. It's all being set up. Well, it's already set up. And I'm earning a fairly decent amount. I'm getting 0.3 helium a, uh, a day or in 24 hours. And seven days, I've had a couple down time, uh, like days that aren't that good, 30 days. I, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. But since cap, I set up two weeks ago. And I have made $2 since then. So... Uh, it started the September 19th. Okay. So if you can see, I had one day, I made 0 0.06 H and T and the, keep in mind the entire time it's had an eight DB antenna. It's been at this window with no screen in the same house as my Bobcat. I was curious to see how this affected witnesses because I noticed it said I had zero witnesses, but I had some beacons and I decided to go on hotspotty.net just to see what was going on. And first thing that comes up is it says rewards and it says, 11 invalid beacons. I'm like, okay. So reward scaling, uh, I'm in the same hex as Philadelphia. So the reward scaling is going to be a little skewed. It's going to be down a little bit. Not a big deal as long as I have witnesses in the 1.0 or if I have a whole bunch of witnesses. Then I go to witnesses, no witnesses. What? What's going on? Okay. So it says I have 11 invalid witnesses and that the witness RSSI is too high. What this means to give you guys what layman's terms uh it means that there is two miners that are actually physically closer than they are saying so this is here on reddit pretty well stated uh it's an anti-gaming restriction so if you guys don't know this is what a lot of people brought up in the previous video uh it's a big problem that people think was going to happen with the video that i made is that people could just have like seven miners in one house and just uh make like a perfect triangle or hexagon whatever they want to make and just space them out on the app so the whole point of this anti-gaming is that it actually detects the frequencies are too close to each other and what it does is it rejects the signal so what it's doing is it's rejecting my sense cap so obviously after i make this video i'm going to move my sense cap to a different location but just for the video and for the experiment i wanted to see if the anti-gaming rules would actually take in effect and if the helium algorithm was working properly so as you can see I have one hotspot that I uh, witnessed or that was being witnessed 
and I have 11 invalid beacons. So there has been essentially no activity on my miner. There has been no data credits being used on my miner. If I go here, uh, it's had zero DC if this ever loads. And if I go to the one that I'm actually using, I have 68 DC. That's because of my uh, temperature and humidity sensor right there. So um, now that I go on to here, you can see I have nine valid beacons, 17 valid beacons. There's no like problems on my main miner. But the thing that does show up is if I go to witnesses and if I go to as a transmitter, it comes up again that virtual cobalt nut hatch is has too high of an RSSI witness. So if you guys place your miners too close to each other, it will reject on both ends. My sense cap is not receiving. It is not sending. The, the RSSI is too high. There's nothing you can do about it. You have to move your miner. This is a quick video I just wanted to make just to prove that the anti-gaming rules do work. If you guys don't already know, with proof of coverage V11, there is going to be some significant changes to the Helium network. Right now, as of me recording this, it is not implemented. They have just pushed all the updates so it can be flipped like that with a switch. But your antenna and your elevation is going to significantly affect your earnings in the future. Not sure when they're going to implement that, but it is probably going to happen by the end of October. That is where I'm banking. That is where I'm putting all my eggs in that basket. It's going to happen by the end of October. And we're going to see quite possibly because a lot of people throw up their miners and they just let them go. And they're like, let's just earn some money. We're going to see some miners go down and we might even see a massive increase in the earnings for everyone's miners because the other people aren't watching them every day like we are. Obviously, you guys are watching my channel. You're watching your miner every day just like me, freaking out that you have 0.3 HNT a day when you're supposed to be having 0.7. Why? I don't know. Why does it do that? I don't know. It's a bobcat. I guess that's the end of the story. If there's ever a problem with your HNT earnings, it's it just blame the miner. It has nothing to do with us. It's been working for me. I hope it works for you guys. <laughs> but that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the description, not the description, the comment section below. Also, make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, please, 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 please send me submissions to be included in the video. I want to review your guys' setups. I think that would be a really cool thing because there's like no videos out there reviewing people's Helium setups. It's going to help the community a lot, and I really would like to make a video on that. So please submit your entries. I'm going to make a deadline for you guys. I'm going to make it by September 8th, October 8th. It's already September, October 8th. Please get your entries in so I can make a video on that and share with the world. Uh, and helium setups. So I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.